Hey guys, it's Renee. So today we're going to be making a non-bake cream cheese pie. This is by far the easiest and yummiest cream cheese pie I've ever had. I'm using three packs of cream cheese straight up from the fridge. You don't need to put this at room temperature. And I just cut this in like squares. I'm using some vanilla, a teaspoon of that, some lemon juice, and I ended up adding three quarters of a cup. Depends on how much you like the flavor of lemon juice. If you don't like it that much, just use less than what I used. We're gonna be needing as well some condensed milk and I used two cups and one quarter of a cup. I'm gonna be using as well two pie crusts. These are store bought and in here I'm using my mom's food processor because their mixer broke. I've done this recipe with the mixer and now with the food processor and it doesn't really make so much of a difference on the consistency of this filling. You can use a mixer if you have a mixer and you can use a food processor if you have one. I've never done this recipe on the blender though. I'm not really sure of the results but I'm going to be adding my uh, cream cheese half of the whole thing that I had and then I'm going to be adding some condensed milk. Blend that in. Once it's done I'm going to be adding the rest of the like the cream cheese, the vanilla, lemon juice and the rest of the condensed milk. And how cute is this food processor guys? I love it. I think it's pretty unique, vintage, retro. Just to be white just so you can get an idea of how old this is. And yeah I'm just going to mix that in and once it's done this is pretty much what the filling looks like. It's really creamy and yummy, but it has some body to it. I'm going to be then taking my pie crusts and I'm just going to start with the filling. I'm just going to be storing it on the fridge for a couple of hours for it to be more stable. This crust though ended up being really messy, crumbly, and it ended up everywhere. You're gonna see towards the end when I show you like the final result and slice, it got everywhere. Highly suggest you work with the best quality that you can find or maybe even go for a homemade one. Now the recipe is so good as is and that I didn't want to add any Anything on top. I'm making this for my family and we just wanted the plain and simple basic version of it but if you prefer to just add a toppings you can add some like strawberries, cherries, you know different fruits on top of it. This recipe works for both summer and winter time. Winter time the consistency is going to be a lot stable like you see right now. Summer time is going to be a bit looser like with everything in summertime that everything melts but yeah it's a matter of like storing it in the fridge and you have yourself a pre jam dessert all year round. Really easy as you can see fast tastes amazing it's a hit and every time that we make it everybody loves it so yeah i really hope you guys like it and try it if you liked it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye guys